Have you ever wanted to get the exact same color grade like one of your favorite creators? And I hopefully that's me. I mean, why wouldn't you, to be honest? <laughs> but in this video, I'm gonna show you in Premiere Pro how you can steal from your favorite creator's color grade and use it as your own. So my name is Torsten Roscoe, and without further ado, let's steal some color grades. So the way to steal color grade is very simple. First, you wanna get your shot. So this is my shot right here. You can see it's not color grade, it's super flat. There's nothing really crazy about it. And then if we go to my next one, so you grab the other clip that you're taking it from, Obviously, this is the exact same clip, but color graded. You can see it's a lot better. The My blue is popping really well. The sky is nice and kind of grainy. And then the ball is extremely poppy too. And then you can see like this green is super green. It just looks super good. Obviously, if this is from the straight from camera and I steal the color grade, it should look exactly like this. That's what my thoughts are. Let's see if it actually does that. So first of all, you got your two clips, like I just said, grab an adjustment layer. You know how to make an adjustment layer. Right click and hit new item adjustment layer right here. Drag it over here, just like so. And you can drag it, just make it as big as you want. You can make it extend to both clips and come into Luimentary color, come down to color wheel and match. Make sure you are on your one that you want to do and then hit comparison and then it's going to grab the reference so the reference is basically just going to be the next if you want to let's say move this you can just move it to you can see how it's grabbing this and it's grabbing my other clip too i'm just going to get it to the spot i want it so right here and then i'm going to also grab it so okay we can kind of see the exact same face i'm <laughs> expressing that's not a good face and you should just be able to hit Apply match and it should look exactly like it. So let's see what Premiere Pro comes up with. Okay, that's terrible. What the fuck? Well, apparently Premiere cannot match my color grade for my LUTs. It's actually a lot easier to use my LUTs than doing all of this BOGO bingo bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really bad. Let's see if I can actually try to save it coming into basic corrections and mess around with it. Or maybe just turn up the saturation. No, no, this is, ooh, wait, hold on. Okay, no, no. Premiere is just, no. That's not gonna work at all. Let's try a different clip. I'm gonna come over here and do the exact same thing, but instead, I'm gonna grab it from this guy. I just found him online, Instagram. I liked his color grade, I liked how it popped, and it's kind of little on the flatter side, but also a cinematic style. So I'm gonna do it for this one. So again, I'm gonna make a adjustment layer. I'm gonna make it as long as each of them. Just like so. Click on the adjustment layer, come into Lumentary Color, go down to Color Wheel, hit Comparison View, and then I'm going to ramp this all the way to this guy. So let's just say like right here, and I want this kind of color grade. I like how it's like kind of orangish, but also like light. The colors pop really well, so it should. I hope it does a better job than mine, but let's see. It did an okay job, to be completely honest with you. I honestly, ah, this is kind of botched. It's kind of a myth, to be honest. It's not really that great. I mean, I could just take less time out of my day, already convert this, so it's already at Rec 709. Come into here, come into Creative, go into Browse, just come into my LUTs that are specifically made for lifestyle, everyday creators just like that. And just look through any of them. I have an exact one for this and it is the, grab my outside color film pop and boom. I mean, wow, that is a lot better. I can just increase the intensity if I want that greener. And now look, that's like 20 times better to even, nah, it's more than that. It's like a hundred times better. These are just perfect. I wouldn't honestly be color grading without these LUTs, otherwise I would, have really bad footage. <laughs> you can go find those down in the link in the description if you wanna get color grade exactly like this. And I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't. Really a no brainer. And if you wanna learn exactly how I use those LUTs to get this film look just like this, you can go click this video right over here and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.